Hello, I am Mr. Barr, and we're still going to talk about statistics. We're going to do a quick little review of mean, median, mode, and range. And then we're going to look at how we can use this information or how we can pull this information off of different types of charts and tables. So this is statistics, how to interpret charts to find mean, median, mode, and range. Let's review this. Mean. Mean is a fancy word for average. Median is a fancy word for middle. Mode is the number that appears most often. And the range is the numbers between low to high. So it's actually the highest value, high minus low, and that's how many numbers are in between the highest value and the lowest value. Let's try a problem with this. A pizza chef recalled how many pizzas she had made during the past seven days. So here's pizzas and days of the week. What is the median number? What is the median of the numbers? Well, let's take a look at this. Thursday, zero. Friday, zero. Saturday, nine. Sunday, six. Monday, zero. Tuesday, four. Wednesday, eight. So we have seven different numbers. And we want to find the median, the middle number. To do this, I'm going to put the numbers in order. Let's make a note of that. Put in order. Well, that's 0, 0, 0, right? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Who's next? 4, 6, 8, 9. Which number in this list is in the middle? Four. Four is in the middle. I have seven numbers and four is right there in the middle. My answer is four. To do medians, you need to put the numbers in order from small to big and then go find the middle. All right. Mauricio looked at his calendar to figure out how much time he spent babysitting each month. We want to find his mean or his average. To do that, we're going to add up all the values and divide by the number of values. So what we have here is 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4 plus 10, plus 8, plus 10, plus 6. We're going to add those numbers together and then divide by the number of numbers. That's how many numbers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we'll divide it by 8. Is that correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to add all the numbers together. I'm going to sum them and then divide by 8. Let's add them together. 3 plus 7, that's 10. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 10 is 30. And here's a 16. What's this? This is 30 plus 10, that's 40, 56. So I have 56 divided by 8. How many times does 8 go into 56? Is that 7 times? 7 times. That is my mean. That is my average. So every month he averages 7 hours. This is an interesting way of showing data. This is called a, a line graph. A clothing store asked some students how many sweatshirts they owned. What is the median 
of the numbers. Well, it takes, we have to be able to read this. What this means is this is a 0, a 0, a 0, a 0, a 0. So I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Five kids said 0. How many ones do I have? No ones. How many twos? Well, I have a one, a two, 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 two. I have two, 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 two. Because these represent a whole bunch of twos. How many threes? I have one three. How many fours? I have one four. How many fives? I have one five. These are my numbers. I have zero, 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 zero. There they are. I have two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. This is just another way of displaying the data. Now, let's find our middle. I'm going to go one, two, three in. One, two, three. How about one, two, one, two. I'm getting close. Ah, one, one. Right there. There's my middle guy. My middle is at two. My median is at two. So I took the data off of this line graph. And put it in order and then found the middle number. All right. Thank you for watching.